Hello, Jungle viewers. This is Zev Guardian, welcoming you back to Out of the Park Baseball 24 with the Prague Metropolitans and the European Baseball League. In our previous episode, we reached the the amazing heights of losing the division championship series. Um, mostly because our ace actually faltered quite severely. Uh, which was not amazing, but still pretty good. Uh, now, however, now we must attempt to get even better. Now, one thing I really enjoy about this franchise and the way it's set up a bit more than some others is uh, the fact that there's basically a default uh, salary cap for every team. Uh, my budget's you know, fourth of 46 million, if I look at London, it's only slightly higher. And that's actually really interesting. And it creates a really interesting dynamic where letting players go to free agency might actually save you money in certain circumstances, but it depends. One moment. Oh, pardon me. Um, which is very interesting. It's very interesting way to have to deal with the game and it makes it more dynamic. So, what are we going to do this episode? Well, first of all, let's check on coaches. I think we're fine for coaches. Yeah, we had to hire, we have a few people who have things coming out. <clears throat> Let us now... All right. So Monomachus is gone. Like, there's not one-tenth of one second's hesitation there. He is gone. As is Jacob Jacobson. They are both ex-whatevers. And so we're going to need to find a way to replace them both. <clears throat> now, here's the interesting question. I'm going to offer a qualifying offer only to Monomachus because, to be perfectly blunt with you, he just opted out of this salary, which means that he's going to earn more on the open market, which means there's a fairly high chance that he will reject it and I get a draft pick. That's always a good thing. Um, Amakapane is a no-brainer. Um, I'd love to sign him long term if we could afford it, but I already know that we can. Um, is he durable or yes, he is. I'll tell you what, let's actually see what his price would be for a long term extension. I don't mind this deal, actually. Let's give it a shot. Wait, he just randomly says, I want an opt-out. I mean, you could have had that the whole time, but okay. Um, this is a lot of money. This is about... 15 to 20 percent of the cap close to 25 but i think he's worth it i think an elite pitcher is worth it now am i just pulling a paul schemes again maybe but we're gonna do it why the frick not um a derek morgan would like a very modest race and i'm happy to accommodate him that's an easy pick um orphanides i am more than happy to offer a shiny new contract full of money in it like how everyone wants an opt-out if i'm relegated like that's a likely scenario i mean i guess it could be but i'm not that convinced i don't know what adam keely's deal is i truly don't he flabbergasts me because he should not be as good as he has been. He should not be. 
Now, maybe this is just, I know the secret sauce and I'm always going to be this good, but it seems to me like I would be foolish to count on him continuing to be this level of player. Because if we take a quick look at his Babbitt, I bet it's silly. Yeah, guys, this is not sustainable in the least. <clears throat> I'm trading him. I'm going to trade him now while he still has a fair bit of value and try to get some interesting pieces. But yeah, this is not a sustainable record. Um, just because he's been a positive offensive contributor, I mean, he always will be. I'm going to happily decline this. I'll look at regulars too, but really this is just a matter of trying to get a good player. Eh, tempting, but I don't know that I want to spend that much money in a minimum salary. I get Jamel David back, that would just be funny. I don't really like coaching for the lulls though. That's not really my thing. Um, he's going to cost quite a bit of money, is Uruita, but maybe that's okay. Because he is a really talented player. Now, having said that, this is the exact kind of player that we always fall for. But then again, I'm not like, it's not like I'm going to keep him around forever. I think this is worthwhile. Um, I think that's not who I asked for at all. I want him. I don't even know what position he'll end up playing, but interesting. He wants a long-term deal, <clears throat> but I'm not going to give you one. Uh, I'm not ready for that yet. I need to see how you perform with higher competition before I can commit to you as Manu bro. All right, Capsamales. Here's a place we can save a bit of cash if we desire to do so. He's thoroughly unremarkable. Amali had a pretty good season. I just don't see that happening again. I look at his skill set. He was far better this season than he ever has been before. I think we trade him. I think we trade him and send him elsewhere. Or just not tender him. He's not worth a million dollars to me. Maybe he's worth a million to somebody else. Um, Pagani keeps end up coming back, but I do think we need to get rid of him for good this time. Uh, Mike Hernandez was sensational. Um, I really think having him gives us an important offensive contributor. Uh, I will happily offer him a brand new contract. This is a very reasonable amount of money. But I don't like the idea of signing a player this old for that long. What if we do three years and you give me a team option? Yes, this I will do happily. There you go. Done. Vongu is definitely worth keeping around. I am perfectly content with that. Sorry, my nose is very runny this morning. I'll do my best to try to mute when I feel a real big one coming, but... Uh, Sergio Gutierrez can just go at this point. Um, I don't really see much interest in him. <clears throat> Jesus Guzman, I feel like he's never going to have a real chance to succeed with us just because he's such a weird player because he's got a bit of pop and he's shown that in the minors, right? Like he, he has nothing left to prove in Triple A. He's regularly dominating Triple A. But then he comes to the majors and he can't hit anymore. Oh, which is really frustrating. Um, 
I probably can't get very much for him, though, if I'm honest with you. I don't think there's going to be too many people that are going to look at him and say, yes, give me some of that. <coughs> I'm going to non-tender Guzman, too, because I just think he deserves a better team. I will keep Ethan Henderson, though. Um, I'll always offer him a new contract for at least one year, and then we can see how that works out. All right. Am I going for anybody else a qualifying offer? No. Um, either uh, Urutia or Gunter is going to be my new center fielder. I have no questions about that. In case you're wondering why I'm willing to let him go, it's because of Wendell Schmidt. Um, Wendell Schmidt thoroughly dominated in AAA, and I think that makes him an excellent choice, either as a third baseman or a DH, either or. Um, so Schmidt is, is right there in terms of being a top player. Saeed Julia also probably deserves an opportunity. Um, so we actually have a lot of depth in the app, which is why I don't mind losing Monomachus if it comes to that. Um, <laughs> oh, I do need to put you on the 40-man, don't I? If we keep Urutia, I'm going to send Henderson to the minors because they're two very similar players. I think Henderson could benefit a bit from playing a bit more in Triple A. Um, but yeah, the opening day outfield might very well be uh, Lengla, Urutia, and then Julia. Um, I think that'd be a very fine outfield with Schmidt coming in as a DH. So our offense should be very, very competitive this season. Um, the picking staff is still very, very young. It could be amazing and it could be trash. Um, we're just going to see how that works out for us. The bullpen is a major area we're going to have to upgrade in. Because we're not going to bring back Baj Rami. Um, I can't afford him. I can't. More importantly, I don't want to afford him. Um, he's already had significant injury issues. And I don't think it's very sensible to bring him back no matter how good he's been. We could probably try to grab a decent um, a decent reliever either in free, free agency or the Rule 5. Okay, I am not over budget, and I can earn more money just by cutting the budget slightly. Apparently, I was on a OTP Reddit the other day, and I guess double the league based on is kind of the max of player development. Like, I guess beyond that, it's not really a sensible investment. So we might cut a couple million out of there if there's a player we deem worthy of our attention. Have they? Oh, yeah, I don't think so. Bosh Rami wins reliever of the year. Good for him. I hope he takes it into a, a monster contract with somebody, but that person won't be me. A platinum stick for Langlet. Amazing. Remember when I had, like, the dominant offense of all time? Oh, that's not a thing anymore. Sadly. People signing contracts. Lovely. Oh, who was I even hiring Gleb for? Oh, he was my manager for Ricky League. Yeah, I should probably do something about that. Oh, we can hire Patrick Bohm. Why not? Ah, uh, yes, the number of Trojans over in Prague. That's definitely a thing. Definitely. Okay, Amakapane took the new deal. Amazing. Where are you currently coaching? You're coaching in single A. I really don't want to lose you. Um, you're actually a very talented coach, and you'll just take an extension. Lovely. Um, but I do want to keep you if I can. 
Yeah, we'll see how well this contract ages. I think it'll age relatively well, um, but we'll see what happens as time progresses. But I didn't want to lose a picture of his caliber, even if he did choke a bit in the playoffs this year because he was really good in the playoffs a couple years ago. So, <clears throat> Okay, you will not take... You're so good. I don't want to lose you uh, at all. How is Albert Shacken? Albert Shacken is the drizzling shits. You're fired and you're promoted. will offer Alexandru Morris uh, the A job. Oh, did it not let me sign What's-His-Face? Oh, I bet somebody else offered him a thing. We'll grab Nikolai here. Why not? Marius is signed. Lovely. I hope to see that the Varna Dolphins are relegated. That's my goal. I don't know what I can do about that, but that would be that would make me happy if that happened. I would cry little tears of joy. Uh, Zagreb and Brussels are gone. We're getting Kharkiv and Warsaw. Very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, that's what I figured would happen. Um, so I'm actually really happy about that. Um, that's going to get us a draft pick that I can probably use to get like a reliever or something, uh, which we very well might need. Okay, we presently have an available budget of about $6 million. That's quite a lot of money. We need a catcher. Um, that is a foregone conclusion. We need a catcher. I'd like to get at least a relief, at least one reliever to help shore up the bullpen. Starting pitching, I'm fine with. We've got a lot of really young, talented hitters that I think can fill some of the gaps there. Like, I'm just going to call Julian Schmidt right now. I'm not even going to waste any time with, like, fucking around with service time shit. Um... Stankiewicz probably has a reasonably good shot in the future, but I don't want to rush him. Um, he is 23, so he should definitely be in at least double A by now. Um, so let's get ourselves a starting catcher, and let's get ourselves a reliever or two. I think that's appropriate. We do lack for power, um, so that's something else we might want to address. If we can find, say... Who's our second baseman? Oh, that's right. Uh, Vongu is now playing shortstop. And O'Reilly is bumped to second. That's fine. Let's look at catchers. So, so Sashenka Lahov is the best catcher here. There's a couple things here that give me pause, though. First of all, his offensive profile isn't particularly attractive. And second, he's already 34. So I think we'd probably pass on him. We could bring back old pal Gabriel Moberg. We already know what he has to offer. I think that's a pass, too. Manny Enriquez would cost me a draft pick. So I don't think that's an amazing choice here. Betsat Masuki is one of these catchers that I I always fall for and I never should. Because he only has one offensive skill. Um, he's not going to contribute a ton there. 
Chris Gutierrez would make a fine stock app. Um, Sebastian Petit is a really good defensive catcher who does have some offensive upside. But he's just going to run into a situation constantly where if he can't hit for like 250, he's going to be of minimal utility. So maybe he's not a great fit. Abdokov can't actually play catcher that well. I think Gutierrez is a decent fit. He's inexpensive and he's a reasonably good catcher. I think that's a good choice. Uh, I want a team option, uh, but I will give you a three-year deal. I think that's all. I think that's fair. Um, just a little civility catcher, and worst case scenario, I just have a slightly more expensive backup than usual. Let's grab a reliever now. Why are you being offered so little money? I'm not going to hesitate. I'm going to do it because $420,000 is... Oh, you don't like Goro. Maybe I need to fire Goro at some point. Just let him walk at the end of his next contract. He's stopping me from getting decent pitchers, and that makes me sad. Carlos Crespo is a pretty good choice, though. Uh, also, formerly one of our players. I think bringing him back for a year is is fair. I'm not giving... Uh... <clears throat> Having you for a little bit longer would stabilize the bullpen a touch. I think that's probably fine. Let's get a couple of team options, so just in case. Just in case. There you go. How does that fit for you? Good. Are there any decent power hitters that might be looking for a new home? I mean, they're all going to cost like shit tons of money. I understand and accept this. I think I'm just going to not even bother looking. I'm going to let this market settle a little bit and then see who might be available cheaply. Um, I'm going to try an experiment. <clears throat> I'm going to offer him a one-year deal for a tiny sum of money. This is for one very specific purpose. <clears throat> this is me fucking with him. But also, it's going to make him come back to me if nobody signs him. He's going to want to talk, and we can maybe do that. I think nobody's eligible again. Yeah. Give you an extension. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Although the Zaporizhia beach bums. Or sorry, Zaporizhia. I don't even think there is a beach there. Maybe there is. I have to remember where it is off the top of my head. That's so funny though. That they call themselves the beach bums. <clears throat> Like, here's the thing. Park is worth going all out for. Nobody else here is that fantastic. I was saying I would mortgage my house to get Park, but Park is... He does everything well. And I know that he's quite a ways away from the major leagues. He would be fucking terrifying. So I think no matter what happens... And I can't compete with the top market guys. So he may already be out of the running on park. But we'll see. Oh, we'll see, friends. 
maybe it'll take a little bit less money to play for me. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Because I can't match the cap on him. I can't. It is not a thing that I am able to do. Good, good, good. Anybody feel the need to keep? Not really. Let's go ahead and see who might be around in the rule five. Really nobody. Like you're a perfectly cromulent player, but I just don't see where you'd play. I'd like a guy like David Miko, though. Uh, what he would probably do is start the year off in the bullpen. But all he has to do is make a couple of changes. He'd actually be a pretty solid uh, pitcher. So I think we're going to go ahead and take Mr. Miko here. Uh, what? <clears throat> what are you talking about? This player could not be drafted. Drafting would violate currently rules. What? What are you fucking on about? Like, can I not draft anybody? Or is the issue because he's an EJVL that I can't use him in the Rule 5, maybe? That's something that makes sense to me, is that I can't take him because he's in the EJVL. Um, which is a bit silly, but okay. I'm just going to auto sim the whole thing. That kind of grinds my gears, though. Why even have him in the pool if I can't keep him? Oh my god, David Miko was my player. I am such a potato. I was like, wow, he looks interesting. I better keep him. Oh my god. I deserve that. I'm not going to reload a save or anything. That's my own fucking stupidity. Got a couple of players, though. That's nice. It's good work if you can get it. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. I can't believe I was that fucking stupid. I would have kept Miko. I could have had him forever. And instead, I let him go for nothing. Offering Jean Baptiste Mounier for Otto Hedman. When I mean, Otto Hedman is not very good, but I also don't want him either. I will trade Otto Hedman to someone else though, because I'm hugely unimpressed by him. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Poor Gavin Miller. Um, hmm. Clint does intrigue me as a player, but I ain't fucking coughing up any of my young starters for that. So let's talk about. Wait, really? What? Uh, okay. Sh 
sure take like a Z tier fucking reliever that would never play on my team for a top tier player. I think that's fine. I'm cool with that. Like, I agree that we're not going to be able to keep him forever, but that's wild. Absolutely wild. All right. I'm not going to fuck around. If I can get Park, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to hand you my entire cap. It will be all yours. Forever and ever. Oops, I'm going the wrong direction. There. My entire cap of $500. That's what I'm offering to you. Because you're that good. Yeah, you're a jerk. I'm not surprised, but I kind of hope you at least consider coming to me. Oh, uh, I think you'd be a fine pitcher, actually. Let's go for Frank here. I'm going to bump that up a couple of spots. And let's try to grab... I mean, Escobedo is really expensive. Let's try to get Cartwright. No, he's already being offered too much money, uh, but I could cut it down by a little bit. Nah. Lee cannot play second base at all. Um, that was a rag arm like that. Jesus Trevino is, is pretty interesting. I think we can go for him. Man, getting Park would have been awesome, but I had no real, I had no illusions. Um, if money, if money affected him at all, he was going to go to them. And that's fine. Like, I can't really be too upset about that. We got a couple of decent dudes, though. I'm not unhappy about that. Varna can win the lottery for D's nuts. That's just my opinion. <sighs> I guess I could give him a chance. Like, I don't think he's going to be very successful. But we can at least give him a shot to see if he can manage. Man, I feel so fucking stupid. You can't sign him because he's your fucking guy. Oh my god. I'm actually going to offer St uh, Stankovic is going to get an invite to spring training. I'm going to see if that... I'm going to see if he develops quickly because if he does, that would be delightful. It would be hashtag amazeball. Literally everybody decides to leave my channel, but that's okay. Man, I'd leave my channel after that fucking stupid decision. Like, try to draft your own player challenge, impossible. Oh my god. Um, okay. Damn it. I mean, I wasn't going to be picking anywhere near the top anyway, but it is kind of a bummer. I feel kind of bad, though. 
that we're the Prague Metropolitans so yeah, none of my none of my prominent players are in fact Czech to the best of my knowledge. Yeah, please use the good batting stats. So no, I want default. Which is wild, right? Like you would think that Prague is a pretty large city. There'd at least be some baseball players from there, but evidently not. Evidently not. And yeah, they're probably all playing football. That's my guess. I don't know. If you are from Prague or have been to Prague, let me know what sports they like there. I figure football's a safe bet because it's so popular throughout all of Europe, but maybe there's other stuff they enjoy. I don't know. Uh, my, wife and I, my wife and I are actually talking about the other day that it, if and when I retire, which is a long ways away, but if and when I do retire, uh, we talked about maybe wanting to spend a couple years in Europe. I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, we'll see, though. We will see. Okay, I got 30 players. I don't need 30 players. Give me a scouting report on Stankovic immediately. I apparently can't have a scouting report on him yet. That's fine. That's fine. <clears throat> You're gone. You're going... I'm not going to carry three first basemen. And as much as I do like Jorlandino, I think because we have Mr. Clint this season, I think he goes to the minors. With the understanding that if Clint is hurt, that he finds a new position right quick. Okay. Oppo's really only a second base baseman. Then I have a comically massive number of outfielders that I truly don't need. So Fedotiev can walk. We have a little bit of power. We don't have very much of it, though. So that is something to think about. For sure. You can't, like, play the outfield, can you? You cannot. Hmm. This is kind of what I pictured would happen, that Julia would shift to right because uh, Urrutia is the better center fielder. Hernandez, Clint, Langlet. Schmidt is the DH. Interesting. You're platooning the two catchers. I have no problem with that. Um, if you can both play at a fairly high level, then that's actually pretty sensible, and I like it. Poor Gabriel Gunter had such high hopes for himself, and then he got lapped. That being said, um, he is 100% a part of this team's future. He just isn't a part of this team's present right now. And he's still going to get a chance to play some meaningful at-bats this season. I have no doubt of that. Oh, uh, let's go to opening day. I did not know that. That's wild. Why are you unhappy with my performance, you fucking jerk? You literally just won the World Goddamn Series a couple years ago. You need to settle your butt and just be happy with what I'm offering you. Okay? <clears throat> what can I do to convince you to not be a little bitch? Uh, top prospect seems to be there. I can't really negotiate with you. Oh, shoot. We're going to have issues, aren't we? Oh, no. We're okay. We're okay. All right. Um, I guess you just got to win lots of baseball games then for me to keep my job. Pekarski, you fucking dumbass. Oof. His potential collapsed. That's not great. 
He's still a pretty solid choice, but he has definitely lost a lot of sheen off of his throws. Uh, that's pretty yikes, actually. Ah, oh, his contact is dropping. I don't think he's going to be as good a contact hitter. I can still see him starting a catcher, though. Like, I'm not saying he's doomed, but I am saying that um, he's maybe not as, as good as I had hoped. And here's the worst part. I don't think I get the draft pick. Because they waited until the season started. Okay. I might tweak the rules for qualifying offers because, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, we can take a look and see if we get... Um... Nice stock for Saeed Julia. I love it. Um, who's already developing at a record pace, which is lovely. Uh, let's quickly check a thing, though. I want to see if I've been given another draft pick. Okay, I did get I did get a comp. No, I did not get a comp a uh, comp pick. That is kind of annoying actually, but I guess I can't be too annoyed about it. That is kind of annoying. They be like that sometimes. Um, a Makapane getting worse isn't great. Albert Hernandez is getting better. Gustav Hjorth has really improved quite a bit. Um, look at Elmar Remerswall. A seventh round pick has all of a sudden become a viable pitcher someday. I love it. Wilhelm Dannenberg has improved. Ferruccio Luciardi. Uh, Huey Bird is getting better, but also dropped a bit. Okay, we we have some nice changes. Um, I don't know why Arnud Tallinn is on my list. Did I like shortlist him at some point? I apparently did. Oh, you were a um, you were that independent league guy that I thought about signing for like one second and then decided not to. Uh, the lineup could be better. The lineup could be better. It's mostly the bottom third that's the issue. Uh, Mike Hernandez could be better too, but he's also not that far off the pace. Plus, he's my best power hitter. I can't even think of anything about him. Uh, Schmidt is doing great. Could be better here too. He seems to be quite anemic on the power front, um, but... That should improve with just more reps. Creed and O'Reilly bottoming out is not a great sign. Is he being forced to play at that position? No, he is not. Disappointing. Look, Vongu isn't here to hit. Vongu is here to play really good shortstop. Uh, and he seems to be doing that quite well. Interesting.
Like, very clearly, Oppo would be a much better second baseman, but equally clearly, he is limited defensively. I think we just keep O'Reilly and see if he fixes his issues in the second half. Uh, the pitching looks pretty solid except for Derek Morgan. Mr. Morgan here seems to be struggling a little bit with... He's just getting hit. That should probably fix itself over the course of the full season. <clears throat> Zero Orphanides getting into the rotation is something I ever expected, but he's actually doing very well at it. Um, so I'm not annoyed at all. Crespo is struggling a bit. Oh, look at that walk rate. That's no bueno. You gotta fix that shit, my guy. You gotta fix it now. Um, yeah. I'm relatively happy. The one thing I would like to do, though, is I think we're a little thin on pitching. I'd like to send down a hitter and call up a pitcher. Is there such a pitcher worth calling up? So here's the thing. If I send anybody down, it's going to be Kuten, uh, Kuteniemi, hoping that he can, by playing every day in the minors, he can unlock some of his full offensive potential, which will make him much more palatable. The question is who actually gets called up to pitch. Look, Morrison is the obvious choice, but Morrison is also still out for the next few weeks. I suppose Hjorth is fine for just a few weeks until Morrison is, is healthy and ready to play. Although... No, this is fine. This is fine. All right, let's do some drafting. <clears throat> so this is a very shallow, this is a very deep draft, but there's not a lot of really top tier players. There's only only four people that seem really worthy of a high pick and only two of them were taken. Interesting. Let's try to see if any of them are checked. Okay. So let's talk Alp Tariq. Tariq is basically Wendell Schmidt. Like, there's very little separating them. And the thing is, we already got a Wendell Schmidt. I don't think I need a second Wendell Schmidt. Hmm. I mean, Frosty Bill here definitely seems like he's an interesting player, too. Um... Can we not, okay, can we not fucking have this stupid every infielder can't actually play the infielder, please? Here's my pick. Kratz, is, Becker is really fast. He's got, a, he's definitely capable of sticking at third base. He's got a really, really well-rounded offensive skill set. I think Pancake Becker here is is my guy done uh Kamo Nikonen nice fastball slider good velocity decent stuff moving in control he's a long way away but because he's a reliever I hope he'll develop quickly and I could use a little bit uh, an injection of talent in my minor league system so we're gonna go for him done
Um, I want best player available. Rolf Adler. Not amazing stuff, but good movement and control. Uh, your pitches aren't that impressive. There's a couple things in your favor, though. This is one of them. You're a pretty big dude who isn't very thick. That means you'll probably add velocity as you get older. Probably. The second thing is that you're left-handed. All, all that is to say, you only have one potential plus pitch, which is the changeup. Or sorry, change up, I guess, would be plus plus. Sinker would just be plus. Man. I don't know, guys. I don't know about that one. Oh, do I, am I set up to do the, uh, the player personality things here? Yes, no, yes, the parrot. That's a global setting, isn't it? No, or is it under players? I'll find it. Yeah, here we go. There you go. If we're going to have it, let's use it, because that'll help affect who I choose to draft or don't draft. Um... I like how smart you are, even if I don't see your ceiling being as all that impressive. I think your intelligence makes you a worthwhile draft pick. I'm going to draft you because you ain't stupid. Um... <laughs> oh, an actually competent infielder. Yes, I think you would be an amazing choice, Mr. Eisner. Welcome to the Prague Metropolitans. Eh. Brew isn't that thrilling to me. Ellis Gillard. Eh, he's plenty smart, but his position is first base. Uh, let's look at Mondek Gershbinski here. Okay, good mix of pitches. Very, very intelligent. The movement isn't the best, but out of a left-hander, I like this a lot. I'm concerned about his stature, though. He might be more likely to get hurt. But I still think he makes for a fine draft pick. Done. A Czech player who's also Taiwanese, which is fun. Uh, absolutely. Come join us, my friend. Join your hometown team. I knew if I didn't actually say that he was from Prague, but... Yeah, I guess I'll take Gillard at this point. Like, nobody else wants him, so that's fine. I think I'm willing to let my scouting director pick out the rest of the draft at this stage. I don't think there's any more impact players. Uh, his amazing change to Pancake as soon as he joins the club. That's just the law. Going to offer some casual contracts here. I will offer Mr. Norvac here 
for Novak a a contract. I think that's reasonable. I was looking at the wrong thing. That's that was a silly decision. I don't know. I'm just gonna save the rest of my money. I don't think anyone else here is worth signing. And we'll sim the rest of the month. Oh dear. Here you go. You are not Bonchu Opama. That's a fucking stupid name. Your name is now Pankrat's Pancakes Becker. We're actually on a bit of a slide. Um, we might need to look and see what's happening there. All right. Goro, you're out. I'm sick and tired of every fucking pitcher being like, Goro is a piece of shit and I hate him. Thank you for your service. You've been a successful manager, but the fact that every single pitcher hates you is becoming an issue. Um, so yes, I will not be bringing you back. Nothing personal. Offer you an extension. Hair is fine. I have no compulsion, a, a compunction about bringing him back. Same thing with Torijani. You know, let's just offer all the minor league coaches a new contract. There we go. Oh, two coaches I haven't decided yet. I do kind of want to keep Meyer. Um, I think keeping him for one more contract is okay. And then... Sraybov is fine. We can, we can keep him around a bit. All right. I'm not saying that hiring the man, fixing the manager is going to fix everything, but the fact I'm consistently blocked out of signing many pitchers is very frustrating. Um, and it's just because he's apparently a jerk and nobody likes him. All right. Mike, I need more from you. I need a lot more from you. But you're not the real problem here. Creed and O'Reilly is. You if I have the best defense in the majors, that doesn't help when you can't hit your way out of a paper bag. The bullpen is also severely disappointing. Um, we could probably use an inflection, of, an, an injection of talent, uh, pitching wise, possibly. So I think Creed and O'Reilly has to go. So this, this begs the question: Who is our new second baseman? If that's the case. Liam Nor Morrison is healthy now. Uh, fuck you, Shorth. There we go.
Okay, is there a solution to this problem? Is that solution just playing Watali? Probably not, because he's not very good offensively either. You're very good offensively, and you're a captain. But you're not the best second baseman. Is that maybe okay, though? Do I even have a captain on the roster right now? I have Bonet. But I bet a second captain would be even better. We've already had one captain, but what about second captain? Um, I think I'm gonna trade Green and O'Reilly. Cause I don't I don't trust Goro to not play him if he's around. Let's see what might be acquired. I don't really want a center fielder though, is the thing. I don't hate Roger Provost, actually. I don't need yet another outfielder, or I'd consider that. But I actually think Provost is a very sensible move. Um, this also frees up some money, which is nice, but... Uh, I think Provost has to go on to the 40-man, but I'm going to send him to AAA. And then we're going to call up um, Kutanami. Now, there's a very real chance I just play Watali at second base and basically not make any real movement, but Creed and O'Reilly had to go, um, so gone he is. Yeah, you did what I expected you to do. That's fine. Um, oh, Gabriel Gunter is now DHing all the time. Interesting. Very interesting. But Wendell Schmidt is in a really good hitter. I don't get why Gunter all of a sudden is DHing. Like, whatever, but I. I mean, I'm going to get rid of Goro anyway, so maybe this is just going to be one of the excuses I have for firing him. Wait, Evan Gallagher has been banished to the bullpen for reasons I don't fully grasp. He was a really good starting pitcher last year. Like, really good. Like, I guess I don't care as long as we're performing at a high level anyway, but it seems like it's a bit of a waste. Nah. We'll see what happens, I suppose. We will see what happens. Okay. Welp, there goes Van Gogh, which has the call up Contadini, assuming he's healthy. Where is Contadini? Is he also hurt? No, oh, there he is. He's just randomly there. Okay, and then we're going to update all this. And then Calandrini is instantly placed as a shortstop. I mean, that's fine. It's not terribly thrilling, but it's fine. Uh, Sight Julia's gonna miss a few weeks. Uh, do I have a young outfielder? I really don't. I really don't. Oh, honestly, Asiev has been really terrible. I'm going to call up um, Aji here. Franzen, who's at least a really good defender, to help with that. I mean, there is Podotiev, I suppose. Oh, 
Well, we can have Victor Bouille. I'm going to trade Danila. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get any kind of prospect for him. Because he's a shortstop that can't play shortstop. I don't see a lot of value in that. Francisco Anibal actually would be a fairly decent second baseman. I think we make this deal. Done. That's like not even a second's hesitation. I wonder who made the all-star team from us. Gottschalk would like to come back. I am not bringing you back. That's no bueno. How many Prague prospects? The Jan Jansons made it. Dvorak made it. Anibal and Ahumda made it. Or Ahumada, excuse me. And Fedotiev. Uh, Amakapane and Orphanides and Perrin all made it. Not one of my hitters made it. No, Oritia made it. Wow. Like, I get it. My players don't hit for lots of home runs, but I still don't see why that means they should all be excluded. Like, why not Lorenz Clint? He's had a pretty good season. Man, whatever. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. Let's go up to the turning deadline and then I'm really in the market for middle infielders. That's kind of what we need more than anything. Uh here's an offer. Is Brian Potter any good? He's not awful. No, I liked Dvorak. I'm afraid I must decline your offer. Eh, he's a fine depth piece, but he's hardly... Like, I'm planning to be a contender, and so I really need to make sure that I have a contention level infielder. I'm not even going to waste my time with that. Meh. 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 That is a very meh deal from top to bottom. <clears throat> All right. Who is on the market of notable quality? But upgrading my bullpen is also a worthwhile pursuit. You're asking for too much. I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. I guess this deal is fine. Like, I'm not getting much, but I'm also not giving up much. And I do like his flexibility, so I will take this trade. Uh, what I need is a middle infielder. I mean, I would go crazy over this guy. He seems like he'd be a really good fit, but I can't trade for him because he's injured. So 
Sorry, just a second. Some dead skin just got in my eye. There you go. All right. Clearly, we're not being offered any interesting players here. Like, there's some that are good defensively, but not very many that give the mix of offense and defense I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anybody here that really gets me excited. Um, so let's do the next best thing. Let us try to find ourselves a player of consequence. Second base or shortstop. At least 50 defense. With an overall of at least 50. Search. I would go ape for Kurt Arenthal, and I just don't see that happening. I don't see you giving him up. Maybe you would, but probably not. Yeah. As predicted, they just flat out refuse, which is very sensible, actually. Oh, uh, I would give a decent bit for Masudi, actually. Plus his contract is so tiny. Uh, what would it take for me to get Masudi? Uh, literally nobody. All right, let's look through my prospect hall and start offering people. What about Rummer's fall and Dvorak? No. Yeah, this is fair. Um, they don't want to give him up, and I completely get that. That just aren't that many good infielders. I think that's the real lesson here. You wouldn't give him up, would you? No. Yeah, that's the issue. The issue is simply the fact that we just don't have that option. We don't have... The players that we're looking for basically don't exist. Um, so we're just going to have to deal with that one way or the other. I'm still not convinced we can't upgrade the bullpen, though. Hmm... Um, I will offer you Banshikov. Done. That's a nice little upgrade to our bullpen. I like that. And then we can send Morrison back to the miners and have ourselves a much more stable pen. Uh, you're right, I can't. Uh, Morel, get lost. There you go. I wouldn't mind getting a proven closer, but I'm not going to pay a lot for it. Unless it's something I have beyond this year. Bring Garrick Faber back. That'd be a kind of a fun reunion. Like, like, I literally cannot afford Norinen, especially since he's of, he'd be a one-year... I mean, yes, he's arbitration eligible, so I guess I'd have him for more than one year. Um, am I so worried about the bullpen that I'm willing to give up what they want, which is a starting pitcher, though? I don't think that I am. Alanis might be both more affordable and a more... Nope. Mm -mm. I'm not giving you either of those guys for that. I mean, run trio would be quite nice, but again, I'm not going to give up. Um... 
Interesting. But none of these guys are players I want to give up. So I will... What if I offered you a counter-proposal of Shiroka Fedotiev? I think this makes a lot of sense. Done. And this means I can let Murchison go to the miners and I can activate Renteria. Oh, right. I'm also going to need to clear off another 40 man spot, aren't I? Andre Barbier, I think, is a fine decision. There we go. Now the bullpen's a little bit deeper, and I'm not as concerned about what might happen um, in certain circumstances. I think that's all I wanted. Um, I don't really think there's anything else I want to do on trade deadline day. I got what I wanted. I got a couple of upgrades of the bullpen. Oh, that's right. This stupid bug. I uh, just finished today. There you go. Uh, oh no, healthy Gavin Miller. That's terrifying. At least Calandrini's hitting, for whatever that's worth. <clears throat> Not much. Getting Julia back is going to be pretty significant. Um... Because he was uh, one of our best performers when he was healthy. Um, so we're going to send out Ethan Henderson. Henderson doesn't really offer a ton of value when there's a player already very similar to him. And uh, Urutia. Or Urutia, perhaps? I don't really know. place third for us oh mike hernandez that's right he's actually getting quite a bit hotter i gotta say if pancakes can improve quickly he might have a real shot at a rapid path to the major leagues i probably have two people designated for assignment both of whom i can happily just send to the miners. Um, There's an interesting question. Do I even want Van Gogh back? Yeah, probably. Thing is, though, he offers no offensive value at all. I don't know that being an incredible defender completely makes up for that anemic of bat. I'm going to send you to the minors. Because if, if I call you up to the majors, you're going to get played, whether I want you to be or not. I'll tell you what, Goro, if we win the World Series again, I'll bring you back. That's that's my criteria. So manage good, and, and I'll bring you back. Otherwise, you can get fucked. And I can get a new manager, and it'll be great. It'll be great. Any big ups here? Uh, Novak is indeed adding heat to his fastball, which is a good sign. Um, Iser's already a better hitter than Varnu. That's funny. Yeah, Varnu's not much of a hitter.
Uh, where's my friend Stankevich? I didn't trade him, did I? No, I know I didn't trade him. Where'd he go? What have you done with my beautiful boy? There he is. He's taking a bit of a dip. That's fine. If if a good hitting infielder ever hits the market, I think we have to move heaven and earth to end up with him. I truly believe that is a requirement if we're going to be a good top tier team. Man, just remove your ear. You already have two. You have a spare. Okay, Julia, you're getting into a really bad habit, and I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate it in the least. I mean, Calandrini's not hitting either. I guess we might as well bring Varnu back. At least get a really good defender. Or Vangu. I always say his name wrong. I don't know why. Don't know why. We'll probably find something to do with Montreal Jorlandino, which may very well end up happening because I'm not going to bring Clint's back. Um, even if I could afford him, I don't think I'd bring him back just because I have too many players that I think could fill the spot with some level of skill. Well, we got the playoffs. I don't know if we're going to win the division, but we clinched the playoffs. Uh, 40 scoreless innings by Amakapane. Amazing. Clint is going to be out for five days. Got Schalk wants to come back. That ain't going to happen, my friend. I'll tell you what is going to happen, though. We're going to play some freaking baseball. Nice. Man, what is with the Makapane in the playoffs? He was so good in the regular season. I mean, he wasn't that bad. That's merely average, but... There we go. Got shot came through in the clutch. Nice. Oh, uh, those guys. Oh, Jerome Petit is retiring. Okay. And there we go. Derek Morgan wins a one to nothing start. Nice. This never gets old. That's some good shit right there. That is quality pitching. You love to see it. Let's play until the next playoff round. Looks like we'll be facing the London Fog. There we go. There we go. This is what we're... Ugh. Don't do that, please. That's bad. But you still pitched well. So I'm not going to get too picky about it. Oof. Got Chalk, got rocked. Uh, a 10 inning victory. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oof. A lot of really close games, uh, which is, this makes for exciting baseball. For sure. Um, can we make the World Series for the second time? I have a way to find out. Oof. When did a Makapane pitch last? How tired is he? He's pretty gassed. I guess we trust Zero to, uh, to get her done. Damn it. Oh, woohoo! I was looking at game six. Another World Series. Lovely. 
Well done. No, he's not in the playoffs. The fucking Dolphins. Fuck those guys. Right in the ear. <gasps> oh my gosh, Julia's back. What amazing timing. Uh, get the fuck out of here, dude. Oh, what timing. Boom. You love to see it. Much better performance. Uh, Crespo needs to stop shitting the bed at every opportunity. That would be nice. I'd appreciate that. Oh, let's take a quick break to do some international free agent stuff. So we're going to go to Scooting International. This is not a great scouting class. I mean, there's a couple of really talented players at the top of it, but I have a sneaking suspicion they're all going to want lots and lots of money. Um, and I don't have very much. And I'm still going to scout them, obviously, but... Invite you to training, jump back over to scooting and run practice there we go all right back to the series of the world derek morgan got roughed up a little bit probably too busy chasing criminals would be my guess uh, a lot of really close uh games in this one too um up or one went away. Can a Makapane bring it home? Nope. Not his fault, though. Um, he actually pitched... Eh, he pitched reasonably well. That's not terrible. It still counts as a... It's not quite a quality start, but it's close. I got two more chances to bring it home, guys. And we did it! Our second World Series title, which means I'm a man of my word. I said if we won the World Series, I would bring Goro back. There you go. What a World Series. Maybe there's some sort of like secret switch in the game where if your team isn't that great in the regular season... Um, it turned, they all turned on the playoffs, but that was pretty awesome. Uh, I'm not going to lie there. That was a pretty awesome experience. Really tight games too. Like very few of them were blowouts one way or the other. Uh, you kind of love to see it actually. Um, I'm just going to opt out of Chris Gutierrez's contract. He wasn't even starting by the end of the year. Um, so voided. New budget. You have given me a one-year extension. What the fuck, man? What more do I fucking have to do here? I'm... What? Why are you such a grumpy little bitch? Huh? I don't know. I don't know why you're so salty. I just won the fucking World Series and you're threatening to fire me. Man, whatever. Fuck you. Maybe I'll go to a different team that deserves me more. If we're going to be like that. Oh, give me the good batting stats. That's got all the stats on it. I want them all. Uh, Urutia really proved to be an excellent addition to the club. Um, he played at a very high level. Hit lots of doubles and triples. And also played a pretty solid center field. All things considered, good stuff there. 
Sayed Julia, I think, has a very fair shot at being Rookie of the Year. My only complaint is that he wasn't healthier, but he had a really good season, and I think our outfield actually was excellent this year. Gabriel Gunter also turned in a fantastic season. Uh, it wasn't the outfield's fault if our season wasn't as good as possible. Lang Lepp took a giant nosedive. He is, granted, 29 years old. He's getting close to 30. But going from one of the best players in the league, indeed its most valuable player a couple years ago, to just being above average isn't a great value for the amount of money we're putting into him. Uh, that may be something to monitor. Mike Hernandez ended up being okay, um, but I still think we probably need somebody a bit better. Um, Clint was a wonderful addition to the club. He's already going to be departing, though, and I think that's probably for the best. Uh, he was a really good player, though, um, and he really stabilized our lineup, but I do think we need Schmidt to have a bigger role. And in particular, I think we need to bring uh, the Italian dude. Uh, Jorlandino, I think, needs an opportunity in the big leagues as well. Vangu sucked. Our catchers sucked. Our infielders mostly sucked. There's a lot of suck once you get past Schmidt. Uh, Schmidt was definitely as good as advertised. I still think there's more here, though. Like, he's definitely a better power hitter than this. If we can start getting him to double-digit home runs, um, I think we'll have ourselves a fine player that can provide a lot of offense to our club. Pitching, I mean, if he doesn't walk away with Cy Young, I don't know what it's going to take. Or pitcher of the year, whatever the fucking rule is. Uh, he was sensational, and this year he didn't crap out in the playoffs. So, love that for us. Uh, turning Orfanitas into a starter was maybe a little bit risky, but it actually paid off handsomely. Because of our park, which oh, was actually fairly forgiving to home run hitters, we probably just got lucky with Orfanitas. That movement could become problematic in the future. But yeah, we had an amazing rotation. Um, we had good quality relievers. Um... And yeah, we just got a lot of quality out of our staff, which is great news. Our manager wants us to bring back Aldous Miller. I, like, I can't ignore that demand, but also we can't afford it. So he might have to be bitchy with me. Can I discuss that? I cannot discuss that with you. Interesting. Yeah, we losing money. We're probably going to have to, uh, to non-tender a couple people. But that's a problem for next episode. For now, we're World Series champions again. I believe... Are we the only two-time World Series champions? I know the Dolphins won a couple of them. No, they did. We are one of only two-time World Series champions. Though. If we can win again, though make us three-time champions and we'd be even more incredible i wonder who our first hall of famer is going to end up being that's a good question i'm not sure yet you kind of figure that cavallaro is right up there um just because he's hit so many home runs but i don't know i don't know I remember we had Garrick Faber. That was awesome. That was awesome. Awesome to the max. Neil Dahan, that one season, our all time win leader with 25. Man, you're a Papashvili. Seems like you. Papashvili seems like a pretty good pitcher. He looks uh, pretty solid, actually. Good for you, Cardiff. Good for you. All right. That's that concludes today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please remember to like and subscribe. Comment down below. And until next time, this has been Guardian. Thank you for watching. And I bid you good day.